Officer, did you hear that? If, if, the, if the noise gets to the point that it's interrupting our meeting, would you ask people to step outside? And, and it is, in fact, That's our... What you got intercoms for? Why would that step outside? I think it's not loud enough, if you ask me. Okay. that may be of interest to some of you out there uh, is, is that it's my intent to put the, uh, the discrimination ordinance for alcohol back on next month's agenda. If y'all would please re refrain from singing and demonstrating so we can do the city's work. I'd like to thank you for putting the bar admittance ordinance um, back on the agenda for November. Um, and I'm here to stress that a bar admittance ordinance is, is not enough. Law is not enough. The law doesn't make something right. The law doesn't make something moral. You need something more than that. You need a human touch. You need people who are put together in an organization to actually look at a situation and say, something about that isn't all right. Just because it's written in the law that it's okay to tell me that I can't have dreadlocks in the workplace doesn't mean that I actually shouldn't do that. 15 years ago, I introduced and my colleagues passed a comprehensive civil rights bill for Atlanta, Georgia, that includes housing, uh, employment, and public accommodations in the private sector. It's the only comprehensive civil rights bill in the state of Georgia, including the state of Georgia. We're one of about five states in this country that don't have a civil rights bill. Within the past year, I found a few different instances of discrimination that went against my son, who was 23 years old, and my dad, who's 62 years old. And it infuriates me to the point I'm wondering why I don't see more faces like mine filling the hallway, screaming up and down, jumping, wondering what's going on in the city. The Athens Civil Rights Committee is necessary because the discrimination will continue. It doesn't hinder the ordinance that you guys already created, but it gives the citizens an opportunity for their voice to be heard. You will be telling the children of Athens and Georgia who cannot express themselves freely because of their home situation, you will be telling them that the government, their city, has their back. Everyone here who is here to support the Athens Civil Rights Committee are the people that elected you guys. And this is what they want. This is what our community wants.